boys and girls, I'm going to be reading you a book this week. Um, this book is called Pie in the Sky by Lewis Helbert. And Lewis Albert is the person that wrote the words, and they also made the beautiful art using different um, layers of paper and different um, um, materials, as you'll see throughout the book. This tree was here when we moved in. Dad says it's a pie tree. I see a blue jay feather well, right there with black stripes and a white tip and a gray caterpillar. Gray caterpillar, do you see it? Oh, green, I said gray. That didn't make sense, I couldn't find a gray caterpillar so it has to be green. And a yellow band, oh, yep, right there is the yellow band. And an orange false eye right there. So that's a false eye, but no pie. I've never seen pies growing on trees. Wouldn't that be something? I see green grass, red ladybugs, do, 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 right there. Red brown bark and blue-green dragonfly, but no pie. Dad showed me buds on a tree today. He said, that's a good sign, but we won't know till summer if we'll get pie. I see yellow leaves with green spots, brown buds, a brown chrysalis, and a gray snow sky, but no pie. Let's see, yellow leaves, green spots, I see those. A brown bud chrysalis, oh, up here. Um, a gray, gray snow? Oh, a gray snow sky. I was like, I don't see snow on anything but gray snow sky, but no pie. Okay, winter's finally over. Sweet spring is here at last. Buds are buds we shall la we saw last fall are bursting into bloom. So I didn't read that sentence um, 100% correctly. So when that happens, boys and girls, you got to go back and reread the sentence so it, it flows smoothly. Buds we saw last fall are bursting into bloom. I see green leaves. Uh huh. White blossoms, yep, I see them over here too. Yellow pollen dust, oh, yep, it's in the air. Blue eggs, right there. And a brown nest. Yellow honeybees, see they're on the, I like that one. This one's my favorite honeybee. Oh, and this one too, I like that one. And black stripes on a yellow butterfly. Oh, beautiful. I love butterflies, but no pie. Oh, here's a, a bird. <clears throat> but now a damp wind is blowing and all the flower petals are falling down like rain. I see white petals. I see them. Dark gray tails. Oh, right there. I see another one right there in the nest. Brown branches, yep, I see a lot of those. And gray rain in the sky, but no pie. Oh, I think those, oh, that's the gray spots. Hmm. You know what? I think something's finally growing on the tree of ours. Oh, see, is that a pie? I see orange and lime green balls, yellow, oh, right there, yellow moon, and a pale green moth, oh, yep, and a dark blue sky, but no pie. <laughs> oh, look at all these birds and these different things. The birds sure sound excited. I wonder what's going on. I see a robin's 
rusty red breast right here. And a white speckled throat. Mm, this one? And a gray cat bird mm, with a black crown. Oh, this one. He's got a black crown. And a purple violet clouds. Oh, yeah, purple and violet. And a pink and orange sky. See, down here, pink and orange sky. But no pie! So see, I didn't know the difference between these different kind of birds. So I had to use um, the descriptions here to figure out which bird they were talking about. <gasps> this bird looks like it's crying. I hope he's okay. Oh no! Now I see it. I see brown cherry pits. Red wing tips, red wing tips, see, red wing tips. On cedar wax wings and white rings around Robin's eyes. Yep, so he's got black eyes, but no pies. It's a cherry feast. Uh oh, the birds are eating them all. It says, I see orange breasted Orioles. See? And tips on butterfly wings. I see those too. Red ripe cherries. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I love cherries. I'm going to go buy some. And a bright blue sky, but no pie. Where's that pie? I want that pie. I'm so hungry now. But hey, raccoons, save some for us. Oh, look at that raccoon. Isn't that cool what materials the author and the illustrator used? Oh, that's cool. I see a raccoon's black mask. Black toes. And black nose. And his eye is black. And lime green glow of fireflies. Oh, look how cute that firefly is. Oh, there's another one down here. Wow, that is cool. But no pies. At last, Dad says it's time for us to pick the cherries. I see gray wings. Uh-huh. Uh, a black and orange tail. Black and orange. Oh, right here. I see a silver gray pal. That's this one. And a, a blue fly. A blue fly. Oh, on the bucket. But still, no pie. I don't see a pie. Do you see a pie? I don't see no pie. We're going to make a pie. Oh, make a pie. Look, they highlighted that word. Make. M-A-K-E. Make. That's that fun, fancy A. Ooh, first we wash the cherries. Good, gotta get them all clean. We squeeze out all the pits. Four cups sour red cherries. So that's four cups. And save the juice. So they get, they squeeze it all out and get the juice out. Then we put the cherries in a bowl. Half a cup of juice. We add the juice, flour, sugar, and cinnamon, and stir it with a spoon. So look, it says five, and then this little part says tablespoons, but it's abbreviated of flour. One third cup sugar, a half a teaspoon cinnamon, so that T-S-P means teaspoon. Next, we mix the pie crust dough. Mix, 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 mix. We roll out two crust and press one in the pan. Press, 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 press. Then we pour the flour in. This one says nine inch pan. Oh, that bird, he better not be in the kitchen. We add the top crust, put the pie in the oven, and wait for it to bake. Now dad cuts the pie. He puts a piece on each plate. Press around crust edge with a fork to seal. Cut design 
and two crusts to so steam can escape while baking. Oh, see the design is those little circles. Preheat oven to 450 degrees. That's what the little dot means, is degrees. Bake 10 minutes. Really? Only 10 minutes to bake a pie? Hmm. Reduce heat. Oh, that's what's going to happen. Reduce heat to 350 degrees. Bake 35 to 45 minutes until brown. Wow, that was the best pie I've ever eaten. I wonder if the birds would like it. I bet they would. Okay, and then this one's called From Apple Tree to Store. It is fall. The trees are full of ripe apples. It is time to pick them. This apple picker climbs a ladder. She picks the apples by hand. Then she puts them in her bag. This apple picker empties his bag. There is no more room in it. He puts all his apples into a large bin. The tractor picks up the bins. A big truck will take them to the store. Not all the apples go to a store. Some get made into juice and cider. Others get made into applesauce. We buy apples in a store. Sometimes we buy them at a farm stand. Then we take them home. We use some apples to make pies. We eat some of them. The apples taste good. I love apples too. Oh, and look at all there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different kinds of apples on on this page. And there's many, many more that you can try out. There are many different kinds of apples. Which one have you eaten? I've eaten a Red Delicious, a Granny Smith. I don't think I've ever had a Stayman, a Roma Beauty. I've never had that. I've had a Gala. Had a Macintosh, I've had a Jonathan, and a Golden Delicious. I really like Golden Delicious too. But I like the Granny Smith with caramel. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that was the end of this story, boys and girls. Remember, you can go back and reread it. You can leave a comment below um, saying um, what kind of it, what's your favorite, what's your favorite pie? Have you ever made a pie? We've made pie at our house. We just made a strawberry rhubarb pie. And it's kind of tart. You have to eat it with um, ice cream, like vanilla ice cream. Um, I do like cherry pie. I think those are really good. Um, and it'd be really fun to actually go and grow your own cherries. I know some of you have your own garden and you are able to um, pick pick your own uh, fruits and vegetables make your and make your things so um this one's called pie in the sky and um this author um actually writes other ones we read a, a book earlier this year about mice and the different shapes of mice and how they um were able to hide behind different um shapes so they could hide from the cat and i remember that one was really good and i know we have another one at home about making a snowman so um, I encourage you to, to look up this author and try to find more books by them. All right, remember to be kind to each other and boys and girls, don't forget to read, read, read.